Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Rossu. Why is Tony Robbins so gigantic? Acromegaly. Acromegaly is a disorder, it's a condition caused by excess growth hormone from the pituitary gland after your growth plates have closed. The most common feature is enlargement of the hands, of the feet, but you can also get an enlarged forehead, enlarged jaw, you can also get thicker skin and deeper voice because of it. And if anybody knows Tony Robbins, he's got a deep voice. Not the not so nice symptoms include joint pains, headaches and problems with your vision, as well as things like type 2 diabetes and sleep apnea and high blood pressure. In most cases, the excess production is caused by a benign tumour called a pituitary adenoma. What's the treatment? To remove it by surgery and to have radiotherapy. Who does it affect? It affects about 6 out of every 100,000 people and there's no more of an occurrence in males or females. But it does most commonly occur when people get to middle age. So, couple of big notables before we get onto the big man. One is The Big Show, both of these are WWE stars. One is The Big Show, Paul White, who had his pituitary gland removed in 1991. And next is Andre the Giant. Everybody's heard of Andre, Andre the Giant, also known as Andre Rusimov. And he was reportedly to be at the height of seven foot four inches tall. He didn't have surgery and he died due to cardiac complications because of his acromegaly at the age of 46. Oh, and another one to note is Richard Keel, who's the guy who played Jaws in the Bond films. And he was seven foot one inch tall and he had really sharp teeth, like metal teeth. That's why it's called Jaws. And then of course the big man, Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins. He's a huge motivational speaker, world renowned, spoken in front of hundreds of thousands of people. He was tiny and in his junior year of high school, he grew 10 inches in a year. That's a lot. When he was 31 years old, the doctor identified the tumor in his brain and he was diagnosed then with acromegaly. He is six foot seven and has got size 16 feet. He hasn't had the tumour removed because he said that he doesn't want people going inside his head and cutting out parts of his brain, which is completely understandable as it goes. And he also said he felt that there were no other side effects. If you don't know who Tony Robbins is, you should Google him. Go see him if you can. He's amazing. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.